for PM2, how business really impacted our marriage came uh, really through a, a trail of adversity. It, it came from uh, a really rough start. First three years were really, really hard. Um, we decided to turn the company at that point over to, to God and changed our mission statement, let all of our employees and contractors know that they now work for a company that is owned by God. Um, a few years later, um, I was diagnosed with stage four metastatic melanoma and I was given eight months to live. And at that point, we were told we should make preparations for me to leave. I'd been in business all my life, but I had never run a company, and there were so many different things that I didn't know. I didn't know what I didn't know. And the people that were in our C12 group, as well as the other ones from the other groups within our area, all pulled together to help me and, and teach me what I needed to do, the questions that I needed to ask, the things that I need to be watching, and helped me keep things together during the time that Dan was absent. And I was preparing to run the company. You know, we were preparing for the worst, hoping for the best. And, you know, and you know, God brings you to the valley because he wants you to get close. And I've never been so close to God than when I was right there in the desert with him. Well, in the last few years, we've seen uh, a huge, in my opinion, a huge transition in our, in our marriage. Um, and for me, it, it was based in uh, seeing a side of Julie and a strength in Julie that I'd never seen before. This is the most tenacious person I know. She was gonna make sure that I stayed here. What I told the doctors was I, I didn't want a husband, I wanted this husband. And what are we gonna do about it? And so as we prayed about it, you know, Dan got a very clear message that God was going to let him live. I mean, as he went through his diagnosis and as he went through you know, all the things that God took him through to prepare us, for whatever it is he has for us, um, it got really ugly, and people, it, it, you know, were outside. They were outside of our little cocoon. We're, we're saying she's delusional because I really wasn't facing the fact, and he's dying right here, and she's not talking about it. And I'm just saying he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. We just need to do do what God brings us to do, and that's what we did. And so it was important um, for me to learn that obedience. Um, which was not really in my nature. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. <laughs> Stop laughing. It was about a six or seven year journey up and up and down roller coaster. Um, and as of about a year and a half ago, I've been declared in remission. It's the first time they ever used the, the R word. Um, he has blessed PM2 in ways he's never blessed PM2 before. Our, our marriage has never been stronger. Julie and I have said it many times that for us it was never about the cancer. It was about how he was going to change me and grow us through this experience. And he's, he's used that uh, for that for that very purpose.